of First Alert Forecast with meteorologist David Harker, only on Fox 47 News at 10. I'll tell you what, you know it's really cold when Lake Superior is warm. The foggy steam that you see here, it happens when the air it's colder than the water. I know you're going to talk about this in just a minute, David. Now, this is actually from up in Duluth, Minnesota. I hope you're going to talk I about will. it. Monday's high temperature in Duluth, negative 6 degrees, which actually felt more like negative 30 degrees. And I'll tell you what, I had friends in Minnesota on Facebook, and our producer did too, talking about in Minnesota, they just kept saying how cold it was. Are those temperatures on their way here, David? Well, it looks like the coldest that we'll get over the next seven days, at least on the high side, mm -hmm. will be, I would say, about nine degrees above normal. Okay. That's tomorrow, and we'll get warmer as the rest of the week goes on. But tonight, I'm still expecting temperatures right around the zero degree mark, if not in the negative. Nice. So uh, really just take some precautions, not just on the roadways, but for yourselves. Sure. Bundle up. Take the time uh, to get ready in the morning and be prepared for cold weather at least the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. The winds, yeah, they make a big difference. Difference. Take a look at the Doppler radar and we have lake effect snow and as AJ had mentioned from the steam coming off Lake Superior, it's the same idea with lake effect snow. You get that cold air rushing over a warmer lake, although I guess you can't really consider Lake Michigan at this time of the year very warm. It nonetheless is warmer than the air temperature. You get a little lake effect snow and it looks like it's starting to dissipate the further east you go. So it's not reaching some counties uh, in our viewing area like Jackson uh, County as well as in Eaton County, which by the way, there have now been changes to the advisory. Let's take a look at some of the conditions outside and you'll get a feel for uh, what the changes are. Uh, Eaton and Jackson counties that were under that lake effect snow advisory no longer that was until 5 a.m. Still in effect for Barry and Calhoun counties, but uh, Eaton and Jackson County now under the wind chill advisory, which is in effect until 1 p.m. tomorrow with the rest of the viewing area with the exception to Branch and Hillsdale County still sitting down to the south since they're uh, under a the on, under a different National Weather Service in northern Indiana. That is until 11 a.m. So it really depends on where you are. We'll continue to see cold temperatures regardless where you are across mid Michigan. Three degrees, the current temperature in the capital city. Up in Elma, the same. Five degrees in Mason, six degrees in Charlotte, all the way down closer to the tri-state. Eight degree temperatures in Hillsdale. Those temperatures feel even colder when you factor in a five to 15 mile per hour wind, and the winds have been gusting as high as 20 to 25 miles per hour tonight. So we all feel like we're in the negatives. This is the type of weather that your nose hairs start to freeze, and it really gets annoying because you can't breathe, and whatever you breathe in is just so cold that you really just don't want to be outside. Nonetheless, these conditions will continue tonight. And if we get stronger winds with temperatures right around zero, could see some value values of negative 10 to negative 20 like some of us are already seeing in Lansing and into Mason. Take a look across the region air temperature sitting in Marquette negative 12 degrees. Ashland, Wisconsin negative 10 degrees. Even Green Bay negative 6 degrees and you see the zeros uh, from Manistee all the way down to uh, Madison, Wisconsin as well. It's a lot of cold Arctic air that's already sunk in across the upper Midwest. That was behind that low pressure system and cold front. We'll eventually see a couple of systems at play, and that will provide us with still some cold temperatures and a little bit more snow shower activity. By the morning hour, 7 a.m., I do anticipate the frigid temperatures to continue, and some places right now seeing some clear skies, allowing temperatures to drop even colder. We'll continue to watch for it, but watch that lake effect snow activity along Lake Michigan. It'll continue as the colder air continues to press across the warmer Lake Michigan waters and even all across the Great Lakes for that matter. A low pressure system will dip down from the north and that will enhance a uh, chance for snow showers across parts of the area going Wednesday into Thursday as well. At this point, I don't anticipate a large amount of accumulation. Just keep that in mind. I'm calling for negative one degree as an air temperature tonight could see those wind chill values as low as negative 20 degrees in some areas. Could even see some blowing snow continuing across mid Michigan. Mason, he's got the right idea. He's all bundled up for tomorrow, and I actually had to make the earmuffs bigger to signify, <laughs> yes, make sure you bundle up across the area. Nine degrees for a frigid high temperature tomorrow. Take a look at the next seven days, 15 on Wednesday, 21 on Thursday. By the end of the forecast, we could be pushing 40 degrees. So, Can you believe it? So, so the roller coaster essentially is what you're telling me it continues. Yeah, it continues. Mother Nature can't make up a ride. Probably not a good idea to put that park away just yet. Not yet. All right. Thanks a lot, David.